सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू द टॉप फाइव क्वेश्चंस दैट इज बीइंग आस्ड इन द मैनेजरियल राउंड इन द पावर बी इंटरव्यूज ओके एंड दीज क्वेश्चंस आर द जेनरिक वंस सो यू कैन इजीली एक्सपेक्ट दीज इन योर इंटरव्यूज इफ यू रीच टू द मैनेजरियल राउंड ओके एंड यू शुड डेफिनेटली नो हाउ टू आंसर इट करेक्टली ओके नाउ सिंस यू हैव क्लियर द टेक्निकल राउंड सो द मैनेजर्स already know that you are a technical sound person so in the managerial round they will focus on your behavior and your problem solving capabilities on the day to day issues okay so now let's proceed with the first question that that you should definitely know so the first question is why do you want to change your company okay so it, it is a very generic question so you have to be very honest with your answer for this question just say that you are looking for better opportunities and better compensation as what you currently get in your current organization is what you deserve and is not as per the market standards okay so this thing you have to mention in front of the manager okay never say negative things about your current company as they will have a bad impression about your personality and they can assume also that you might say the same for the company you are interviewing for in future time okay so just be cautious about this thing even if you don't have a good experience in your current organization okay so in this way you can answer this question i hope it is clear to you okay now let's proceed with the second question do you have experience in agile way of working okay so this is this is also very frequently asked so how to answer this so you have to say yes you do know the agile way of working you have the experience you can say we have uh, two weeks that is 14 days of sprint tenure where we complete the tasks which are on high priority for that particular sprint and if i talk about in sequence sprint planning call happens first where we discuss and decide what all tasks has to be completed within that particular sprint and then the sprint retrospective and review call happens before the completion of that sprint where we analyze the different tasks completed during that sprint and also if there is any impediment or improvement areas to focus on for that next sprints okay and then other than this we also have product backlog call where we accumulate all the pbis pbi means product backlog items to be taken up in the coming sprints so in this way you can mention these points and answer this question okay so i hope it is clear to you now how to answer this question let's proceed with question number 3 so, question 3 is if you get the production issue how do you incorporate it with the current sprint you are in how you implement that along with the other tasks that you have been assigned with so how to answer this so if you get a production issue or bug then since bugs are of the highest priority so it has to be taken up in the same sprint and preferably in the same week only we can either move the uh, pbis or the product backlog items which are of low priority to the next sprint or use the buffer time to complete it if we have for any of the pbis uh, that is present in that sprint so in this way you can answer this question okay i hope it is clear to you now how you have to answer and proceed with this question okay now let's move to question number 4 so the question is explain your project end to end and what was your role in the project okay so this is uh, this, the answer of this question will be very specific to what you have done in your project tell about the sources of data from where you pull the data where you do where you do the etl part then after pulling it that where you do the extraction transformation and loading part and then at last the visualization part okay so all those things you have to mention and in detail okay you have to be very confident about this that yes you have done those those all those things for your project and you are confident about it okay so you, this should be shown when you will answer this question okay so this is how you should proceed with this question and if you want a dedicated video for this particular question then please let me know in the comment box i will then uh, make a video for this particular question okay so now let's proceed with the last question that is question number 5 so was there anything non technical that arise during your work in your current company and how did you overcome it so this question is also very asked frequently so how to answer this question so you can say so Uh, uh, suppose for example you can say that, that i was put in a project where some tools were used which are not which you were not aware of like you didn't have the knowledge of that particular tool for example you are uh, you you know power bi 
but you don't know alteryx which is an etl tool okay and which is also used in that particular project in which you have been put in so now what you have done you have learned that particular skill while working on that project and you didn't even complain this about this to your manager that you were recruited for power bi and now you have to work in alteryx also okay so this would show you that you are a quick learner and you have that never give up attitude okay so this is something non technical problem is there but you have resolved it from your end only you haven't gone to anyone else to complain about this and that shows your personality okay so in this way you have to answer this question okay so these are the top 5 question that is being asked other than this a uh, few small questions can also be asked and which you can you can easily answer but for, but for these particular top 5 questions you should definitely know how to proceed and what should be the strategy to tell the answers so all those things i have discussed in this in this video i hope it is clear to you now how to answer all these questions so so please do like the video and please share it with all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and if you are new to the channel so please subscribe it and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you